Hi, your child's name? Prior to being welcomed at Legacy Emanuel okay. Children's Hospital, you will have received instructions on how to prepare for your procedure or surgery. Those instructions include details on when to have the child stop eating or drinking, and when to start or stop medications, as well as directions to the hospital. We'll even help you make arrangements for your stay while in Portland. Just be sure to call us in advance of your arrival if you have any special needs, questions, or if your child develops any illness, such as fever or chicken pox. Hey, Cammie, I'm, I'm Fernando. I'm going to be your nurse. Okay. Once in the room, your nurse will introduce himself, explain what happens next, and answer any questions. He'll also measure blood pressure, breathing, and heart rate. Some kids get what's called an IV. The nurse applies a white cream to the hand to numb the skin so the patient won't feel much when the IV goes in. He can take out a little blood through the IV for testing and use the IV to administer some medicine to help the child relax. Cammy, thanks. You did really good. This no. medication will probably make the patient feel a little sleepy, giggly, and clumsy. So she shouldn't get out of bed without someone to help. The medicine helps the child stay calm. So calm, they might not remember much of what happens next. Come on in. Parents are welcome to accompany their child to the procedure room and stay until the child is ready to go to sleep. It's the job of the anesthesiologist to keep the patient asleep so she feels no pain and is completely unaware of what goes on during the electrophysiology study and ablation. You will often have a chance to talk with the anesthesiologist the day or morning before the procedure. As you can see, the room is filled with specialized equipment. It's all state-of-the-art and of the highest quality. When the patient wakes up, she may have a bit of a sore throat and might sound a little funny. Don't worry, it's temporary. Back in the room with the family, the cardiac case manager will ask the patient to keep her legs straight for several hours. She can have something to drink, but no food, just in case she feels a little nauseated. Be sure and let the nurse know right away of any discomfort. Now once we take this off, like I said, there's that clear bandage and if you should see bleeding that's coming outside of the bandage, you would pre put pressure on this pretty hard. You'd have to hold it for about 15 minutes and then you could call our office and let us know. The child's groin and neck might hurt for two or three days, but it'll be back to normal very soon. It's also normal for there to be some bruising. We want the child to stay home for one day and avoid bathtubs, whirlpools, or any swimming for three days or until the bandages are off and a scab develops on the wound. Dr. Legras wants to see the patient again in three months. We might ask you to give your child aspirin until that follow-up visit. Sometimes a patient might be a little nauseous after the procedure. If this is the case, it's better to drink small sips of fluid and avoid solid foods until your child's stomach settles and she feels hungry.